then we get to our gate when we're supposed to board and out of nowhere, like what, 20 minutes later, they say our gate or our flight gets canceled and we're like, what? We were ready. The tank weighs as much as me, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, we are on our way. We are heading to Maui. Our airplane is right behind us and we're about to board in like five minutes. But yeah, Herrick surprised me with this trip to basically anywhere I can go in the US. And I was thinking real hard about it. And I was like, you know what? Let's go to Maui. So we are going to go there right now. We're gonna probably land in Maui around 3 p.m. or so. Plan is to get our car that we rented and then go off and get something to eat. Are you excited for our trip? First time in Maui. First time in Maui and we got a whole itinerary planned. Are you excited? Yeah, so tomorrow is Road to Hana. That is our first official day in Maui, so. Yeah, we um, clean up overpacking here as always. Literally stuffed to the brim, backpack and luggage. Um, yeah, so here's our plane right out there. We are about to board real soon. Our first meal in Maui. Delicious! at the Ono's Teppanyaki and Seafood Food Trucks. This place is literally right by the airport and just has a ton of food trucks that you can try out. So let's dig in. You guys, this is our Airbnb. We have finally arrived in Maui. Here is the bedroom, the living space with the TV, and here is the bathroom. So excited to finally be in Maui. Thank goodness we're finally here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is very early in the morning right turn now. Left. It is 6.15 right. in the morning. We are heading to Road to Hana, which is our first full day in Maui. But first off, pit stop. We gotta go Safeway and just grab some quick bites because we just wanna be extra careful in case there's no food on our way. Um, but yeah, we had a little story time to share with you guys. Turn I didn't right. get to share with you guys yesterday. Basically, we got there to the airport pretty early and we were just planning to hang out in the lounge, which we typically do. So we got to the airport three hours early than usual, just so that way we can hang At out and like turn right. really take our time. And then we get to our gate when we're supposed to board and out of nowhere, like what, 20 minutes later, they say our gate or our flight gets canceled and we're like, what? Mechanical failure. Mechanical failure. So then they cancel our flight and we're I'm like freaking out because I'm like, what's gonna happen now? Are they gonna put us on another one? Or are we gonna have to wait it out? Like what's gonna happen? And then I get an email on my phone saying that Alaska changed our flight to the next day at a whole different airport. Like I was freaking out because I, I did not want to fly out the next day. We had plans and stuff. Of course, you know, like getting the car rental and checking in our hotel. And so I wanted to get to hotel or to get to Maui on the actual day of. So they were like, you know what? We're gonna see if we can get you guys all on the flight that was gonna fly out at 2 p.m. when we were supposed to fly out at noon. And we basically got rescheduled to a whole different airline and they were able to get us on the flight, but we had to run to a whole different terminal. So we booked it, we ran as fast as we could to the other terminal, but it also wasn't like a guaranteed either, because it was like, if they had available seats, they're gonna let us go on, but if not, then we wouldn't be able to go on. And luckily, they had seats available, so Eric and I sat separately, but we made it. So that was the beginning of our trip, a little crazy, um, but you know what, we're now here, and we get to see a little bit of the sunrise early morning in Maui. And let's go to Rotona today. Here's the goods. We are going old school today. I'm doing some Lunchables. Got the nachos, that's my favorite. And Uncustables. Yum. Sunrise in Maui, everybody. Behind the scenes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the vlog shot. Made it to our very first Waterfall! 
This is one of the popular falls called Twin Falls. And this is just the beginning. There's actually a few more if you keep going up the trail. So look at it. Should we go for a swim? It's very rocky here. You gotta be very careful. But look at where we are at. At the falls. Yeah. We made it. Should we go for a swim? Uh, or should we? Cold still. Is it cold? Let's see. Let's dip. Dip our toes. It is a little pool. Uh, yeah, a little cold. <laughs> I think we just did something you just gotta get used to. Ooh, yeah, it's a little cold, but look at that. Look at that gorgeous view of the waterfall. I said one of the bucket list things we're gonna do today on Rotana is actually swim in a waterfall. So. Maybe not the first waterfall, but I'm just glad we got to be here right now. This is awesome. Guys, we made it. This is the Upper Falls. It said it was going to be about 30 minute hike. Honestly, with Eric and I have what, spent like maybe 10, 15 minutes and we are here. There's actually a lot of people here already. It's only eight in the morning and it's pretty crowded. So if you do want to stop here as one of your stops, try to come here a little early. Um, right now it's not that bad, but I could see it definitely getting a lot crowder later on into the morning. So let's see. I'm going to try to convince here if, if he will go in and swim with me. Let's see if he will. Are you going to swim with me? You gonna take a little dip? Maybe, a little bit. Because honestly, it is a little bit cold. And since the sun isn't out yet, the water's pretty cold right now. So it's like, you're gonna be walking all the way down in the drenched in water and it's a little bit cold. I feel like I have to fulfill this bucket list thing of me jumping in there. So I think I'm gonna go, let's go. All right, y'all, we made it. <laughs> Eric is back there. He didn't want to come with me because he said it's too cold. It is pretty cold. I, I am taking all of my amount of energy right now to be able to come in here. Oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna dunk. I'm just gonna have to dunk. Ah. <laughs> too cold. One more, one more dunk. Oh my god. This is pretty deep. Like I am touching the ground and my head is floating above water right now. All right guys, we are currently at the Garden of Eden. It is a botanical garden and it has like two miles of flowers. It has waterfall views and just a whole lot of luscious greenery to look at. So we're taking a pit stop here and uh, ignore this. This is my bikini drawing here. Herrick is currently being the driver eating cotton candy. This one is the Maui pineapple coconut cotton candy and honestly it just tastes like sugar with no flavor but currently making our way through super excited to go see what's inside we are currently good on time right now it's 9 55 we're making our way in so earlier i went into the waterfall and i'm just gonna say the water was freezing but you know what you just push it through, just hold your breath and just go in the water. And it was actually really nice. And the waterfall, even though it was like very skinny, it's very powerful. So I like swam through it and it felt like, you know, when you go to a water park and you have the water rushing over your head, it was nice. But then when you come out of it, you can see just like all of nature surrounding you. So it was really nice. But I think I can handle cold a lot better than this guy right here. So um, I made the effort for the both of us to go in while Herrick took some lovely photos and pictures of me. But yeah, highly recommend checking that waterfall out, for sure. And we are at the Garden of Eden, and they have a waterfall here, but look, there's actually people at the top. I think these people are gonna jump down into it. It's crazy, look at that. Get to another pit stop. I'm gonna put the name of the location since I cannot pronounce it. But it's a state park, and it has a little rest stop, and you can also walk around if you like to. We came here to see the ocean. Look at how beautiful. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. Let's go. to another pit stop. This is Auntie Sandy's Banana Bread. And according to our guide on our phones, they told us that we had to stop in this little town and get ourselves some banana bread. So this is the little hut here. There's quite the line already, actually. So I'm having Eric stand in line and uh, 
that way we can try some of this banana bread. Let's try it out. Tell me if this how fizzy uh, banana bread compared to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, that's really good. So fresh and so hot. And there's, I think they showed up there, there's no like um, sugar or eggs or anything like that. So. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. It's like probably all fresh banana. I like the crust on the outside because it's like it makes it a little crunchy, you know? Gives it a nice crunch. Mm. I think it's worth it to come stop here and get this banana bread. to enter the cave, the lava tube cave. They give you a little flashlight so you can see inside. Gotta be careful of your steps. So dark in here, you guys. You would not be able to see without a flashlight. And you have to be very careful. It's very rocky. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Look at all the lava. And we are currently taking a pit stop on the side of the road to the Honda Farms place. And it has a lot of cute little trinkets and decor. It even has food, of course, and we like to get food. But as you can see, they have some souvenirs you can buy. Let's see if there's anything interesting that I can check out here. They have honey sticks. We used to actually love this a lot when I was in college. My friends and I would go to a farmer's market and we would get honey sticks. And they also have like um, aromatics here. So if you like CBD, coconut, cocoa butter, and essential oils and all that. Alright, and dried fruit down here as well. Ooh, look, 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 look. Banana coconut curry hot sauce. This one looks bomb. And pineapple lime hot sauce. Ooh. Hmm. If you like spicy stuff, maybe check that out. I am a weak sauce with spice. Not. But yeah, this place is super cute. It has like a lot of souvenirs. And behind me over there is kind of like the sitting area for a picnic. Want something to eat. Get something to eat. Something to drink. So we're just gonna take a little break and then we're gonna keep going to Hana. So I've always seen this flavor everywhere in Hawaii and now I got to finally see what the actual fruit looks like and this is what it looks like. It's so interesting. We're currently at our last stop at the end of Hana, Road to Hana, which is the Hakela National Park. This is what it looks like. It's just a big giant park where you can do a lot of hiking. And this is our last stop before we go back to do our reservation at Black State Beach. Guys, we made it to our last location. This is actually the Black Sand Beach and guys, it is pebbles. <laughs> so uh, just be aware of that, that it's not actually sand, it's literally pebbles. Eric and I are trying to find a place to dock our chairs that we're bringing with us. Yeah, maybe we should go over there, but anyway, this is the view. And in order to come to this park, you need to have a reservation. So make sure to check online. I will leave that also into the description as well. Alright you guys, we have made it to our final destination on our road to Hana. So we actually went to this location first before we went towards the end, but they said we couldn't come earlier than our reservation, which was from 3 to 6. And we came around like 1.30, so they were like, why don't you go to Hana first? So we did that, made our way all the way to the end, and then we basically looped back upwards. So this is our final stop, and like I said, make sure to get a reservation to come here because they are very particular about it, and you need to have a reservation. So. You need to also come at your specific time as well. They, I think they have three different slimes, time slots throughout the day. But yeah, this is Black State Beach. It is basically pebbles on the beach. There's a lot of people here. And so I think that's why they limit everyone to time slots because there can be a lot of people. So. 
gonna go for a swim? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm probably just gonna dip my toes. Okay? Yeah, maybe let's let's go dip our toes. We went to a more sandier part as we thought until we come closer. And it's actually little micro pebbles. I don't know if you guys could even see that, but it kind of hurts. So yeah, this is the black sand beach. And this is the view. it's important to see and stopping at those places so I think that's what made the trip as smooth as it was and overall I also gave it a four out of five I think there was one thing that I found a little bit underwhelming that I probably would have not went to if I known which is that black sand beach <laughs> because uh, honestly it was a little painful to walk through that and because we didn't really want to spend too much time swimming there, maybe that would have been better, but I don't know, to swim in, and having to stand in that kind of pebbles. It was something that I definitely could have lived without. Yeah, I feel like going to this park would have been a passable thing, but I know it's like one of those things like it's a must-see, but honestly I think I would have been okay with not seeing it. I, we got to see a lot of things throughout this Rotana trip that I thought was way more um, enjoyable and worth the experience. And there's tons of waterfalls that you will come across. So if you are a soul seeker of waterfalls, this trip will be an extreme highlight for you because you're gonna see literally one every way along the way to Rotana. But yeah, this was definitely a great first beginning of our road to Hana trip in Maui. And tomorrow our plans is we're gonna do surf lessons. So we did that in Oahu already before. We had such a good time, honestly it was very tiring, but it was worth the experience to do because you're in Hawaii, why not? So we thought we'd do it again in Maui. So we're gonna get some dinner. We'll see what we find on our way back home, but it's gonna be a long drive back, so we'll catch with you guys a little bit later. All right, this is our dinner for tonight at Mama's Fish House. Here it got the, it's like a trio of fish with curry. And mine is the macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi. And it has lobster on the side, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Mm, I'm so excited to try this all out. All right, ending off the night with some lily koi creme brulee. Cheers, babe. Cheers, and let's cut through this. Crack it. Oh yeah, it actually cracked pretty nicely. All right, let's try it out. Starting off day two in Maui getting our brekkies before we do our surf lesson. I got the classic acai bowl at Island Vintage Coffee. Eric got an oatmeal, oh. and I got an ice matcha latte. fish tacos. We are currently at the Coconuts Fish Cafe and they are known for their tacos. This looks freaking delicious. We got ourselves some shaved ice. Mine has mango, coconut, and passion fruit with mochi on top. 
And here it has coconut with milk tea. And also ube ice cream is in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Delicious. We're currently about to do scuba diving for first time divers. We're just signing our waivers. So excited! To go new, but no, not scuba diving. Actually, scuba diving. Actual scuba diving. Got the tank on me right here. Do you see that? Yeah. I am scuba ready. The tank weighs as much as me, y'all. Scuba ready, uh huh. Got that tank on. You excited? Oh, yeah. Yep. First time doing this. Well, real, <laughs> real scuba diving this time. Because in the Bahamas, we did snuba, yeah. which is snorkeling and scuba. But this time around. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Dave, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't run for it, huh? I didn't run for it. Oh, you it. did? You're just so light there. Clear! Situated. You <laughs> Got a little stack. All right. Woo! Yeah, I know. It's my friend. We just finished our zip lining. It was awesome. So awesome. Now we're at this little town called Lahaina, I think. Lahaina. And we got ourselves some grog earlier, and now we are sipping on our little young coconut. And unfortunately, it's not even sweet. But it's cold. At least it's cold, because it's kind of warm here. But look at that beautiful ocean that we're walking here. Just, just gotta hang out in this little town, see what there is. There's Harry behind me. Doing water biking. <laughs> See how fast Harry can go. Go. Speed racing bicycling on the water. Woo 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 woo. There you go. You gonna race? Ready? One, two, three, go! Pedal fast! Let's use your pedal fast! Oh, should take. Oh, you feel it moving yeah. around way more. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. See your shit. So this guy is called Hawaii, also known as a collector urchin. Ah. And so the reason why they're called collector urchins is when you know they're stuck on rocks or anything like that. Hey, babe. Uh, anything that falls from the surface. Come grab it. Leaves, rocks. Shells, oh, it feels so weird. Right on top of that black part, and you use that as camouflage. Ooh, you can see the little tingly feet. 
Creepy. It's creepy. It's the other one. And there's that one. My, my Time little go camper. To the beach. There you go, my little camper. <laughs> Heading to the beach. Heading to the beach, our last day. Yes, sir. Gotta make the most of it, right? No cameras except this GoPro, no phones. Gonna We're gonna just time. enjoy this Chilling. last day without any tethers no. to life. Goodbye to Maui. Goodbye to Maui. One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> 